So Nvidia and HP sent me a Z book. Let's see what it can do. So when I first got an email from Nvidia saying, hey, do you want to test out a laptop? I was like, yeah, yeah, okay, no worries. <laughs> Let, let's have a look. So the CPU is an i9-12900H, which has a total of 14 cores, I believe. So it's got six performance and eight normal cores. It, um, just that alone, I think it actually outdoes my PC Ryzen 7. If we have a look, 64 gig of RAM, when my home PC has only got 32. A two terabyte SSD. Funny story about that, I'll explain that a little bit later. We've got a built-in GPU, but here's the kicker. An RTX A5500. Oh boy, the performance that comes out of this laptop is exquisite. So one of the very first things that I did is jumped onto the Blender benchmark test and we abused this thing quite quickly. So if you look at the results here, the Intel i9 is the laptop here of a score of 243, where my Ryzen 7 is 229. Now for a laptop, an um, RTX A5500 got a score of 3196, but my 3080 on my home PC did 4570. But this is for Blender. Um, if we actually have a look, we can kind of see if I click on this, the 3080 is in the top 9%, where the laptop is in the top 16%. I mean, it's a lot. So jumping over into Unreal Engine, let's quickly jump into the like the library and test animation. Let's crack this open. And this actually really surprised me how quick this project was actually built. So I actually realized my computer had a giant flaw. You can't run Unreal Engine on a hard drive. You need to put it on SSD. Go figure. And uh, this laptop showed me the way. <laughs> and so we've cracked open one of the example projects here. And you can just see how like smooth and simple and gorgeous it looks. I mean, being a game developer, in v like doing this in VR as well. I'll show you VR in a sec. But I mean, this is something where, you know, if you go into a game jam or something, this thing will easily outperform a whole bunch of computers. In in including mine. But if we actually play in the scene as well, you can see that it's actually like super smooth as well. It's gorgeous. It's unbelievable how nice this looks. This is kind of disgusting. So this next part is a testament to the efficiency of Omniverse, its graphics cards, the laptop, all combined. Let's jump in and have a squeeze at what this actually looks like. And I mean, plop down here, like cheese and whiskers is all I gotta say. Like this is a big scene. I mean, these are one of those things that this is what Omniverse is going to be doing for people soon. Like, I don't actually know what's the count of boxes. Um, and I don't think there's any physics enabled for them. Let me just quickly jump over to one of these things. But if I stick my hand out, we can actually pick and grab stuff, move it around. I'm going to be learning about all this soon. Uh, so make sure if you haven't subscribed to the channel, uh, cause we're breaking down. Hang on. I can, look at that barker. Look at the textures. Jeez. So let's just finish off with one little last oomphy oomph oomph. And what we're going to do is we're going to abuse this machine just, just a bit more. So at the moment we've got a simple ground plane that's already got collisions enabled. Let's go ahead, right click, create mesh, la cube, and we'll push this puppy up. From here, I'm gonna right click, let's go add, uh, we're gonna go physics, rigid body with collider preset. Let's press play on that. Press play, cube dropped, sweet. 
from here, tools array and count 10, sure. Let's go up the Y, one, one, zero. There we go. So they're evenly spaced out. And what I'm going to do is just give them a bit of a rotation and we'll rotate that way. And we'll give them space out a little bit more. Let's go apply on that puppy. And then from here we can press play. Yay, whoop de doo 10 cubes. What a, what a, what a, what a, what a, what if we got a thousand? And press play. What about a cool 10,000? Let's press play. And she'll be right, won't she? No, why would you say? I will actually be very shocked if this goes to 10,000. Come on, you can do it, buddy. Oh my goodness. You can do it. Oh my goodness. Zero. And let's just increase that. 10 thousand boxes let's press play you can do it buddy oh the computer's not happy <laughs> it is chugging along but it is doing it oh my goodness but at the end of the day it's pretty grouse um, you can play games on it as well, so I'm just kind of showing you the artistic, uh, the workhorse power of the machine. I look forward to continually abusing this thing in the months to come, years, I reckon. Wow. That is madness. Now this is an absolutely stunning laptop. Look at the screen quality. Look at the keyboard, the LEDs. It is just producing such a beautiful picture. I highly recommend it if you're in the market for a laptop. This is the bee's knees right here. Also subscribe. There's a short film coming out soon.